<laughs> All right, guys. So what a great day and uh, what a great afternoon. It's great to introduce Mike Adams. Um, you know, me and Mike, you know, we went back a few weeks back and, you know, just a mutual networking event. You know, what are you up to? What are you doing? He came up to me and we kind of like introduced each other and we thought, why not do a video interview? Why not talk about intro stars? You know, it's a bit about what I do. I love networking in terms of storytelling. And as you know, I've got over nearly 33,000 followers, organic followers that I've kind of just built from the ground down purely by networking. And so, you know, Mike and myself, we thought we'll make this work. You know, we're both in the same niche. Uh, Mike's had many years of corporate experience. You know, he was one of the six members of, of the Zoom Foundation. And, you know, just being part of what he's done is just kind of like interesting in terms of how he's grown as a person and uh, helping other people network. And so, Mike, you know, let's let's go away and let's uh, tackle this interview. And here we are. Thank you so much, Nas. So good to meet you. I love super connectors, super networkers like you and me. You know, I've got 27,000 followers. I'm following in your footsteps uh, trying to connect as many people as possible. I love to go to networking events. I've been to more than a thousand networking events. Some wow. people call me the king of networking. I just love it. I go to 10 events a week, two, three events every single day, day in, day out. Absolutely love it. And it's all about meeting interesting people and see how I can help them. And typically what that means is introducing them to other people. So for me, it's kind of this chain of introductions where I introduce people to each other, we end up introducing other people to each other, and we create this right. massive human chain around the world of connections. Amazing. For me, that's where magic happens. When you connect people, you open new doors, new opportunities. And so my whole life today is about connecting people. And that's what I've built my entire you know, uh, startup about, Intro Stars. It's all about Amazing. connecting people. Hence, is kind of how we met, you know, a few weeks back. It was just purely a networking event. And kind of this video interview works hand in hand in terms of, you know, intro stars and, and how you started this foundation. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us why you started intro stars. Sure. So I used to work in sales for lots of different tech companies. Uh, I used to work for Apple, HP, Zoom, all these right. tech companies, but also work for smaller companies. And about eight years ago, I became a professional networker, going to literally 15 events a week, three events a day, every single day, drinking wow. way too much red wine, talking to <laughs> random strangers, you know, exchanging business cards. And I loved it. absolutely loved it. I built a pipeline of five million pounds of business, purely wow. networking, with wow. zero cold calls, wow. zero cold emails, just wow. networking. And so I realized very quickly there's so much value in networking. But most importantly... I was talking yeah. to all these salespeople and startup founders and agency owners who are all desperate for warm introductions to prospects and customers. So I realized that everyone's looking for introductions. And I thought if only there was a platform to post what you're looking for, for people to send you those introductions and get paid if a deal comes out of it. And I realized many Amazing. salespeople or startup founders are happy to pay an introduction fee if you introduce them to a customer and they close a the deal. But the problem is, it's done under the table as a gentleman's agreement, a quick email back and forth. There's no proper structure to it. So this is when I had the idea to launch my own startup, IntroStars, as the yep. first platform for high value introductions. And I really did it because I wanted to help a million people out there, first of all, right. receive the introductions, but most importantly, help introducers to make introductions and monetize their network. It's really incentivizing millions of people to become introducers, to make the world a better place where everyone wants to introduce people to each other. So that's what I've created. I've left my entire corporate career last year yeah. to launch Intro Stars, working full time on it. So that's really my, my, my passion about it is to connect a million people around the world via my platform. And so I really want to see success stories of people making introductions, closing large deals and really helping each other. And so that's what it is. Uh, we just launched in London a couple of months ago. We're wow. nearly the thousand yeah. users now. It's taking off. We're so excited. And hence, it's kind of like breaking the ice, isn't it, between the networker and the person who's networking, right? And, uh, you know, there are a lot of people out there. They don't know how to network. And, you know, and I suppose you kind of tackle all those gray areas, I would imagine. Yeah, so I actually started doing a masterclass to help people on the network. So, so my, my networking masterclass. So I did it with a few startup accelerators. I did it at a festival where I share all my tips and tricks to be a super networker, to come out of your comfort zone, to walk into a room full of people, talk to random strangers, you know, start a conversation, uh, yeah. really start 
building those networking skills so that you can build your network for the long run. Because it's not yeah. a short game. You don't go networking right. once or twice and that's it. You do this regularly over months and months and then you build your network and this will pay you know, a hundredfold in your next career move, your next startup, your next job, whatever you're doing, that network will always come in handy. And so, yeah, I, I love to help other people become super networkers. Wow, amazing. So in terms of intro stars and, and sort of we've kind of like understand the introduction, what is the problem you, you, you're trying to solve here? I mean, it's a great way to in terms of like meeting people and networking. And I know you're trying to help people as well at the same time. Um, what is the actual core problem for the end user and how can they sort of extract value from that? So IntroStars is a marketplace for high value paid introductions. Like any marketplace, there's two sides to it. Yes. One side are what I call intro seekers. These are people who want to receive introductions to their ideal customers for large deals. These are typically B2B salespeople, startup founders, agency owners, recruiters. So all these people, the problem I'm solving for them is lead generation. So That's lead generation I mean. traditionally is done with cold calls, cold emails. And that's a dying game. So I'm really revolutionizing B2B lead generation to focus only on warm introductions and warm referrals. So that is a core problem I'm solving. And then on the other side of the marketplace, you have introducers. These are people making introductions. And the problem I'm solving for them is to monetize the introductions they're making. So when they make all these introductions, if a deal comes out of it, they actually get paid a percentage of the deal which is only fair. It's a win-win for everyone involved. It also encourages people to build a side hustle as introducers to help them overcome their financial issues, to pay their mortgage off, to pay their credit card debts. We really, want to help people build a better financial future by becoming introducers. And that is a problem I'm solving. So really solving B2B lead generation and helping people build a better financial future. And that's what IntroStars is all about. Wow. So that's kind of like going on to my next question is, is what is the purpose of networking in today's climate? I mean, what, how do you see networking today? And uh, do people get the results they need in terms of, say, if you do connect someone and it, and that result does come by or if it doesn't come by, how would you kind of like evaluate that in terms of results driven based strategies? Yeah, so networking is a very good game to play. However, it is a long-term game. You don't get an immediate result. Every time you true. go to a networking event, very you're true. not going to put the deal there and then during the event. I mean, that, that can happen. It's very rare. And it can so, fail, right? You can fail absolutely. from that. You have to go yeah. and network to as many events as possible with a mindset that it's like you're putting money in a bank. You're like saving, you're building you're really your, your goodwill. So it takes time. Your goodwill. Mm -hmm. It takes time to meet as many people as possible. And when you go to a networking event, what's really important is not to go there to try to close a deal or find a customer because people can sniff a salespeople a mile away yes, and they people can, don't yes. like that attitude. So instead of that, when you mm -hmm. go to a network, go there to help other people. Ask them how you can help them, what introductions you can make for them. And by going with that mindset to help other people, you then create goodwill where people want to spend more time with you, get to know you. And in return, they will help you as well at some point or make introductions that are relevant to you. But really, that is the most important thing about networking is going there to help others. And that can only be successful, but it is a long-term game. You go there as much as possible, always trying to help others, build those relationships, build that trust, be a very likable person so people like you and want to spend very time true. with you and help them. And then in return, whenever you do need help, you say, hey, I would love an introduction to this person or that person or potential customer. People will be happy to help you in return. And so really it is kind of building that goodwill around you, that A good foundation. Uh, capital around you. That's what we should be doing when you go networking. And the results are always good if you go with that mindset to help others first. Uh, and the better, your, the bigger your network is, the more it's going to help you. It's going to help you in your job, in your career. If you're looking for investors, you're looking for business partners, looking to hire people, you're looking for prospects, so whatever you're looking for, network will help you. So really... Go for it. Don't hesitate. Go and start networking. <laughs> so, so in terms of success stories, you you mentioned about you know what Intro Stars does, the problems it's trying to to solve. 
Tell my followers, do you have any sort of success stories where you've actually put this into implementation so that, you know, people can then see that this is actually becoming successful? I mean, there's really a million success stories about referrals turning well, from into you deal. yourself. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So you speak to anyone around you say, hey, what is your best uh, deal you've ever closed? Most likely it comes from a referral from someone who referred you. Right. And so in my personal story, uh, again, when I was a professional networker, I went to more than a thousand events in two and a half years and built a, a pipeline of five million pounds of business. I was selling AV solutions for meeting rooms, networking with other people in commercial real estate. And all of the deals, there are only via referrals and introductions. It's all based on trust. And so really, it's a word that, of mouth. If, as a word of mouth, this really is, I, I'd say, most large deals come from referrals and introductions. So it's kind of a clear established business, uh, I say, wisdom that you should focus your whole energy on referrals and introductions. The problem is there's no easy way to scale that. And so oh. IntroStar is really the platform to scale that. We can easily explain what introductions you're looking for, or just look at what other people are looking for to make those introductions and get paid. So in terms of success, we've had nearly a thousand people sign up on the platform. We've had nearly 130 people. people. Mm -hmm. We've had 31 mm -hmm. introductions. We already made a bit of revenue. So it is starting to take off. So yeah, it is really a, a very exciting journey. Still the beginning. Uh, Interstars was just launched in London, but uh, yeah, we'll take off very fast. And then we're going to launch in many more cities very soon. Yeah, I can't so wait before, to see it. Amazing. So before closing thoughts is, uh, you know, say if someone's watching this video now and, uh, you know, I, I posted on LinkedIn and it go as, goes out there and they want to come to you, what sort of tips can you give them in terms of, you know, giving them what they want, you know, say if they say, Hey, Mike, I need some help in terms of, you know, building my career or I need that. I need a job or whatever. How would you help that person who's watching this video now? I would say the number one thing is to try to go to as many business networking events as possible. London has more than 50 events a week and many of them are free or very low cost. You can find them on Eventbrite or Luma or just Google events in London. Okay. Loads of these events are full of people who want to meet other people and help each other. Now, the number one lesson to remember is when you go to a networking event, the number one mindset is to help other people and meet cool people. It is not to sell. It's not to find customers. Don't go in hunting mode. Go there with a helping mindset. Go to meet people and have a collaboration, right? Absolutely. You will always be successful. Start doing that as much as possible. That's my number one tip. And once you've built a network and you start to know lots and lots of people, then mm -hmm. try to connect the dots, meaning try to introduce people to each other because that's where the value is, is when you know lots of people, try to introduce them to each other. That's how you create value. And once you start to do that, then the third step is to start to monetize those introductions. And that's when you can use a website like introstars.com, my startup, right. where you can literally sign in for free, see what people are looking for and start making those introductions to help other people, but also get paid to monetize those introductions if a deal comes out of it. So again, it's a win for everyone. And you make the world a better place by connecting the dots and connecting people. So you connect the dots to connecting people. And so they go to introstars.com. And if if they, they find what they're looking for, you make that deal happen, right? In that sense, Perfect. absolutely. Uh, so yeah, you can sign up to introstars.com for free. Start Amazing. to browse what you are looking for. You're an introducer. Make a few introductions, and boom, you're happy, successful. You just create a new opportunity for someone else. Everyone's a winner, and that's really what it's all about. And before we just sort of close off this interview, is what? Why did you do it? Why? What? What is it? What? What was the passion and flair in terms of? what you wanted to achieve here? Is it something where you are sort of a outgoing person and you know you want to help other people or is it you see a, a gap in the market? I see both. There is definitely a gap in the market to revolutionize B2B lead generation. I've worked in sales for 28 years. Lots of people around me are salespeople and startup founders and they're all struggling with lead generation. Lead generation is the most difficult thing to do in sales. And most lead generation uh, strategies today are still based on this old model where you have to spam a million people. We send lots of cold, cold calls and then use AI prospecting tools with AI you spam even more people. And it's really an escalation of spam and spam and spam even if the response rate keeps going down and down and down, there's still a tiny bit of a tiny response rate might be sufficient to get a few leads, but it, this has diminishing returns. And so over time, this will go to zero. It is really a zero sum game. 
of spamming a million people. So I think lead generation. And nobody wants to be spammed, right? Nobody wants to be spammed. Nobody you know? wants that. Exactly. And so really, yeah. there's a revolutionary approach to lead generation, which is to focus only on the warm referrals and warm introductions. And that's a massive gap in the market. And I really truly believe that we can change the world by focusing on that. Now, that's really the gap in the market. To answer the other part of your question, my why, my personal why, is really on a spiritual level, I want to connect a million people in the world. I think the most people right. you connect by introducing people to each other, the more uh, opportunities you create for everyone around you, and the more you create communication between people to create peace and happiness and prosperity for everyone around you. And so that is my mission in life, to create peace, happiness, prosperity, and opportunities for a million people. And so I think IntroStars is going to help millions of people become introducers and create all these introductions and human connections. And I think that is my why. That's what I wake up in the morning, every morning for. That's what I want to, that's how I want to change the world. Well, I wish you nothing but the best, uh, Mike. I think it was a great way to introduce what you're doing. Um, and I, as a networker myself, I can see see why you do it and sort of the passion and flair inside you to, to connect people, right? I think it's it's all about being a people's person. To so Just to close off, um, is there anything finally you'd like to say? And where can we find you and more information about yourself? Absolutely. So again, my big advice for everyone, go to more networking events and have fun. That's the most important part. You must have fun. Enjoy it. You're there to have yeah. fun, to meet people. It's always fun to meet someone new. Uh, it is fun, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, have fun. That's my message. Uh, if you want to follow me, follow me on LinkedIn. I'm a big uh, LinkedIn poster. I love LinkedIn. So it's Mike Adams on LinkedIn. You can find me very easily. Uh, and then uh, I'd love for you to try IntroStars. It's free. Go to IntroStars.com and start to make introductions. Let's make the world a better place, one introduction at a time. I'd love to know where you are in six months' time because it's always something going on. And, uh, you know, you, you rapidly have built this this business and this brand to, to become, you know, you know, very worldwide. And uh, you're going to a few events after this, right? So you keep on yeah, going. I'm going to two events tonight. Uh, I used to do about 10, 12 events a week. So, yes, every day wow. is interesting. Good job. <laughs> 10 12 events guys that's what you should do so uh mike great to have you what a way to learn about what you're doing and uh thank you for your time in doing this interview thank you so much naz can't wait to see you on on the networking floor <laughs> yeah we'll see you there thanks a lot buddy take care <laughs> Bye -bye. Thanks,